y'all, it is the Bear Thrift Machine. Today we're gonna go over what's sold on eBay, so stay tuned. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Bearded Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online for a living and hopefully for a profit to make YouTube videos about it. So if you like that type of content, always remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Today, we're gonna go over 20 wood sold on eBay for me in the last couple of days. I will try to tell you how much I bought them for and how long it also took to sell. So the first one we're gonna go, we always just jump right into, not a lot of breaths to be taken, I just go ahead and ramble on. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one right here is a lot of three Nerf shoulder gun stocks. They went for $15 and the buyer did pay shipping. I probably have a dollar in them at a yard sale about a month ago. This one right here is my last storage unit dumbbell. That's the reason actually why I bought that storage unit is I saw the dumbbells in there. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead. I will link it down below. It was my first storage unit, but it won't be my last. This was a 35 pound dumbbell, went for $55. The buyer did pay shipping. These are some Corel, Carol boots, men's Western style. These were like alligator skins or some really cool looking boots. They sold for $50 and the buyer did pay shipping. These were a size 14D. I thought they were going to take longer to sell, but they really didn't. Took about a month and I got them for $6.99 at a Goodwill. This is a can opener and it sold for $15. The buyer did pay shipping. It took a long time to sell, probably about nine months and I have $4 in it at a Goodwill. This is one of those massagers. I had one back on my other what sold like last week or two days ago or something. These sales very fast. I picked this up about four days ago, made sure it worked, listed and sold for uh, $29.99. I picked up for $4 and the buyer did pay shipping. This is a Ping I2 six iron steel shaft black dot and did go for $19. The buyer did pay shipping. I had $3 at a Goodwill probably about six months ago. This is a Craftsman 15 16 wrench. This is a combination wrench and the series on this is V, inverted V, which is forged in the United States. And it did go for $15 and they paid $5 in shipping. I got it for less than 50 cents at a yard sale about a week ago. This is my last Sonos Connect, which I'm sad at because these things sold like hotcakes. Once I put them up, they sold. This one sold within two hours, and I have nothing into it, and I probably bought them for about $5 a piece. And this one went for $145, and the buyer did pay shipping. This is a members only jacket, brand new Navy. It was new with tags and it did go for $20. The buyer did pay ship. I remember I bought that for $5 at a Goodwill a long time ago, probably about six months. These I just purchased about six days ago, seven days. And this is some Adidas spikeless golf shoes. The reason why I think they went so low is as you can tell in the picture, there is some pretty heavy staining on these on the bottom and everything. I tried to get it off, but it just wasn't coming off. So obviously I disclosed that in the description and they still sold for $33 and the buyer did pay shipping, but they're in really good condition other than the some staining on the bottom. This is a Canon Mini Troll, and this went overseas, and they paid a lot in shipping to get it overseas because I used the Global Shipping Network, and this was pretty heavy. But this is one of those, like, uh, it's a downrigger, if you know what fishing is. That's something you just put the weight at a certain depth so you can catch some fishes at, like, 20 feet or 30 feet or whatever it is that you're fishing. So this sold for $65. The buyer did pay shipping, and I probably have $5 of that on my big fishing lot that I picked up probably about a month ago now, and I'm already in the good on, so this is pure profit. But like I said, that went overseas. This is all also out of that lot. This is a Pen 320 GTI fishing reel. This did work properly and had the back plate on it that you can attach it to the fishing rod. This went for $32. The buyer did pay shipping and I'm already in the profit. This pin I'm in the profit for. I sell all types of stuff, fishing gear, whatever I can get my hands on that I think sells. This is just a tiny little hat pin and so for $10 free shipping, it took about $3 to ship. So I probably made about $5 I'm already in the profit on but that did take about two months to sell. These New Balance 928s white leather walking shoes. I don't remember picking these up. So that means it's probably been about nine months ago or right when I started. I have no idea, but I know I probably picked them up at a Goodwill for $6 and they sold for $22 and the buyer did pay shipping. And when I actually packed these the other night, I realized how clean and great they were looking. And I probably could have got some more money with better pictures, but that was with my old phone. I can tell the photograph is a little bit grainy looking. So with better pictures, I think do actually make your prices go up slightly. This department 56, I'm almost out 
out of these. I only have two things left at apartment 56s and this sold for $10 and the buyer did pay shipping. I picked these up in the summertime knowing they probably wouldn't sell until the winter and I'm almost sold out of these. At this uh, at this point, I'm already in the good both. I think when I bought them in the little figurines, I had 50 cents a piece. This one right here, I picked up last week at a yard sale. This is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger all over print American flag. It had a couple stains, a couple light spots on it, but it did go for $25. The buyer paid shipping and I paid $2. These bears, I'm so glad they're going. This is my second set of bears, but my first set of bears has a return on it because they said they didn't know the size, but I put the size in the description, but that's okay. But this time they bought the entire set for $45 plus shipping. It did take a lot to ship because the big bears are pretty big. They're like 18 inches and the little bears I think are about a foot. So they take up a lot of room, even if you squish them down and everything, but they took a long time to sell knowing that when I bought them, but they are selling. I do have a whole bunch of years left. These were 2005. Uh, Dan D bears and they did sell for again $45 and the buyer did pay shipping. This is a Department 56 Snow Village. This is my last Snow Village house. It did go for $19 and the buyer did pay shipping. I had $3 at the time I bought it. This vintage silver plated teapot. This was funny. Me and Kayla were rearranging the room the other day and I was talking about this teapot about how I can't believe it hasn't sold and I moved it to a certain location and it sold the next day which is hilarious just because we have this thing that if we pick something up and then we move it, it usually sells on eBay like the next day. I've tried that. I'm going to try it with my whole inventory here soon and see if it works. But this did sell for $16 and the buyer did pay shipping. I have at this point less than a dollar into it because I picked it up at an auction. This is a King Cobra Transitions S number four. I don't know exactly what all that means to be honest with you, but I can read it on the bottom and I comped it out. And this golf club did sell for $19 and the buyer did pay shipping. I picked it up in a big golf club lot at a yard sale probably about a month ago. I'm already in the good on, but I had about only a dollar to two dollars in those clubs I picked up. So right there, that was 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days. Uh, it's not like huge home run sales, but my sales have been very consistent in the last week. Today it's a little bit lower because I have to be honest I've been shipping a lot I've actually ran out of shipping stuff I didn't think I was gonna have this many sales in Q4 which is a good thing but there are some flaws in my uh, model of not having a death pile or reserve and stuff because I've been having to go out and find stuff ship things and listing time has really been down this is really my first going through a Q4 before the holidays and everything so I'm definitely learning a lot and next year I'm going to be a lot more prepared and I had some ideas to actually where I can optimize more sales. So hopefully this has been educational. Hopefully you learned something. Hope you can go out there and find some of these items and make some money yourself for the holidays or to pay the bills, right? So if you do like this type of content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below and like the video. And you know I will catch you on the next one.